Hello everybody, and welcome to the July 2015 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, brought to you by Noob Computer Build. My name is Corey. Here we are, another month, another few builds. As per usual, as per usual, we have the $600 build, the $1,000 and $1,500 build as well. Uh, as a note to an, an attachment to this article, we have some peripheral considerations, but please visit the website at noobcomputerbuild.com in order to check those out. Uh, there have been a few, um, quite a few releases in graphics cards this month, which uh, dictate the prices and what I've included in most of the uh, the builds this month. And so keep an eye out for that and note that. But uh, here we are getting started with the $1,500 gaming PC build for July 2015. So for the processor for the $1,500 build, we have the Intel Core i5-4690K coming in at $235.99. This has been the processor for quite a few months now. Uh, it can be easily overclocked and it is a great choice for most gamers out there. Um, and then to pair with that, since it's so easily overclockable, to more efficiently do so, we include this Hypermaster uh, Cooler Ma Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler, which comes at, in at 3124. The motherboard we've also switched this month since the last month's MSI board shot up in price and uh, thus did not include a recommendation not conclude to a recommendation this month since it would just cost too much for what what, I, what it was so this much i this month i've included the gigabyte ga z97x ud3h bk black edition motherboard 129.99 and then the graphics card this month uh, amd had released a slew of cards this month uh, and with that included the r9 fury x which is their 4k or quoted as their 4k uh, capable card uh, however it does not uh, fare quite as well as the GTX 980 Ti, which is also a new card and was newly introduced into the $1,500 build last month. So I have, again, included the GTX 980 Ti uh, for $649.99, and in particular the Zotac GeForce GTX 980 Ti card you see here. And for RAM, we have a kit of 16 gigabytes. It's as cheap as it's ever been, I think, right at this moment in time. So it's a Crucibleistic Sport 16 gigabyte kit. That's two 8 gigabyte sticks for $94.99. Uh, for a hard drive, we have two drives here. So we have the Seagate one terabyte uh, hard drive that you see here for $44.99. So that's where you'd probably store a, a bulk of your media or uh, larger software that you don't use so often. And then as well, we have an SSD. So the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, it's only 120 gigabytes, but it's meant to be your startup disk, so you uh, install your OS on there, as well as your most used software, and then you should be good to go. As well, I have some another recommendation in the alternatives that you'll see coming up here soon, too, if you want more space. So but that, this comes in at 73.59. For the power supply, we have a 750-watt EVGA Supernova G2 uh, Gold uh, power supply. It's a highly efficient power supply, and I've included this in the builds for several months as well too. And this is currently at 121.10. However, you can get it for uh, a little bit cheaper, 10, even $20 cheaper sometimes. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And then for the computer case, we have a newly released case. It actually got released, I think at the end of May, and it's a Zalman Neo Gaming Mid Tower case. And this is a kind of a spiffy look and sleek case. Uh, so uh, look more into that if you want to learn more about it, but it's actually kind of a cool case and I would recommend it. So this comes in at $94.42 currently. And then for, as per usual, I say the optional optical drive, this light on 24 times SATA DVD optical drive for $18.38. And this build should come out to currently $1,495. So we're right on par pretty much with the budget. Now for the alternatives for the $1,500 build for July, uh, you can bump it up to an Intel Core i7 4790K if you want an i7 instead of an i5. That is if you do more than gaming. So I say if you do video work, rendering work, or anything over and above gaming that requires more CPU strength, then uh, go with this. And that is for $356.99. Uh, you can get a, a kind of a more a liquid CPU cooler, so that, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H100i. That'll put you back $111.99. Uh, so uh, you can add this SSD instead, get rid of the uh, the one terabyte drive that was included in the build above and that other SSD and just go with this if you liked, but it comes in at $419.99 and it's very fast one terabyte solid state drive, which, so it's quite the large uh, SSD, but it does come at a price premium. And if you want more room or upgrade potential uh, to add more stuff or just want the more space, you can get a full tower case such as this Rosewell Gaming 
uh, Thor V2 case. And this uh, case comes out at $129.99. Now moving on uh, to the $1,000 build. And this build comes in at $979.99, or sorry, $979 right now. So we're right, like a little under budget, which is good. Some breathing room for uh, um, uh, if you wanted to add more or just want to spend a little less than a thousand, then we're good to go. So the processor we have is the Intel Core i5 4690K, $235.99. Same CPU cooler as well as the $1,500 build. This Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo 3124, and even the same motherboard this month since it comes in at such a great price for a pretty good board. Here we have this Gigabyte GAZ97X UD3H BK Black Edition motherboard, and then. I included two different graphics cards for the $1,000 build this month as two different options, not so that you buy them both, but as uh, alternatives. And I'll leave it up to you which you go with, but the one that we have included for the last couple months was a newer released uh, graphics card, but this MSI GTX 970 graphics card that you see at above here. As well, there is uh, MSI R9 390, which is a brand new uh, graphics card that was just released um a few weeks ago a couple weeks ago and that comes in at the exact same price at 329.99 performance wise these cards perform pretty much the same so i'll leave it up to you maybe even look up some benchmarks for the games that you play the most uh some of the times the cards vary a little bit in uh fps but i'll leave that up to you and now for ram we only have we have an 8 gigabyte kit of crucible list export 54.99 a one terabyte seagate Bar barracuda hard, hard drive here for 44.99 no SSD, but there are some included in the alternatives if you have a little extra to spend or if you want to kind of, instead of getting this uh, one terabyte Seagate Barracuda and then spend a little more, and you can get an SSD uh, as, a, as your primary drive as well. Power supply, 650 watt EVGA uh, G1, uh, fully modular power supply here, $83.29. Uh, computer case, it's not a newer case, but it's a good good uh quality budget case in my opinion and it looks really cool corsair carbide series spec 01 mid tower case 54.99 then the optical drive for 18 dollars and 38 cents and this will come out to 979 dollars and 67 cents to be exact i know for the alternatives if you have a little extra to spend uh get a fast high quality ssd uh 240 gigabyte one here 135 dollars 21 cents like i said skip the seagate drive drop this by 40 and you're expecting 95 to 100 dollars more, or 95 to 100 dollars uh, difference, if you just want to get just this SSD, uh, and then or if you want more graphics potential, SS, SLI graphics card or Crossfire, depending which graphics card you go with. But you can SLI if you go with an MSI GTX 970, so it'll cost you 329.99 more. Uh, if you want a liquid CPU cooler, this is an another alternative that I suggest: Corsair Hydro Series H80i. Uh, 99.99 or if you do have tons of media need tons of space um, not too much more you can bump your primary drive up to uh, not primary but uh, get two terabytes worth of hard drive space for six, only 68 bucks so up to you and now for the $600 gaming PC build of the month um, this comes in at just over $600 $607 and the processor used is the AMD FX8320 we switched this up from the FX6300 a couple months ago due to the drop in prices on these processors. This is $136.48. We have a micro ATX motherboard that we've included for a little while now, $55.18 for this gigabyte GA78 LMT. And so it's a small form factor motherboard making the build quite compact. Uh, graphics card, we have another newly released AMD card, the uh, AMD R9 380. This replaces the previous GTX 960 since it slightly overperforms it, and uh, the GTX 960 is a little more efficient, but just not quite quite enough to warrant uh, getting the card, in my opinion, over and above the R9 380. And this will cost you $199.99. Um, for RAM, we have a Gigabyte's Crucible Export, $52.99. Hard drive, Seagate, one terabyte Barracuda, $44.99. Uh, power supply, 600 watts of uh, EVGA 600. Uh, watt power supply that you see here, this 600B 80 plus 59.95, and then we have a micro ATX case such as this Fractal Design Core 1000. This comes out at $40.90, and then the optical drive for $18.38. And then, as per usual, the alternatives that you see here, uh, we have a CPU cooler, which I recommend if you want to overclock your CPU right away. And I've included a low-profile one, the Zelman 
low profile one to fit nicely into the micro ATX case so that it doesn't take up too much room and it helps more efficiently cool the PC, especially during overclock. And this will cost you $38.59. If you want a kind of a spiffier micro ATX case, this one's a suggestion I have here, uh, this Bit Phoenix micro ATX uh, case, $99.99. Uh, I like the unique look, nice little side window, and it also comes in many different colors if, if that's what you're into. Or you can add an S, uh, kind of a budget SSD here for only $89 and get a 240 gigabyte OC Z, Z storage uh, SSD. Or like, a, like I included in the $1,000 build, if you have lots of data, bump your drive up to a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda it's only 76 uh, 65. All right, so that concludes the builds for July 2015. Like I said, if you are interested in keyboards, mice, monitors, there's also a, an attached article on the website, noobcomputerbuild.com. Feel free to visit, leave some comments. Also, keep in mind that all the hardware is linked in the description below, so check that out as well. And until next month, best of luck building.